Hey guys, Cobra Cemetery. Hey, look where I am, Dufferin Street. Busy Dufferin Street. Just south of there is uh, the 407, just to give you an idea where we are. Um, Dufferin's pretty busy here. And of course, going north in this uh, Rutherford, just a minute away. But I thought we could take a look here at the cemetery. This here might be the church. I'm not sure. It doesn't really look like a church, but who knows back in the day how they built it. We'll go take a look, okay? So like I said, this might be the church. I am not 100% sure. I'll check a map on this uh, later. We'll go check. But what's interesting is right beside it is uh, the shed. It's an old one. That is... Uh, yeah, it's a hundred years old. They put side or roofing on it, metal, but the wood itself uh, appears to be original. And also, where I am uh, looking at here, you don't see any headstones or anything, but the ground is very uneven. I kind of don't think that there's anything here. However, there's a really big dip just right over here, and a really big one there. It could be just from anything else that they've probably done around the, at the time. But uh, let's go and take a look at the cemetery, which is just uh, on the north side. So just to show you where I am, I'm standing right beside the building. I'm just kind of lining myself up with a fence post and a huge tree that's there, which I believe will be the marking here for the layout of the cemetery here, which would go, methinks, lining it up. I'm right at the end of the area where uh, Dufferin is right behind me. But that's about where the grid starts, where the allocated area is. I can just see by a fence. There's a fence. We'll take a look at it. But let's go check out row by row. And uh, what I'm finding here is nothing. But there is some uneven ground here. And of course, just up ahead is where the first row starts. And we can have a look. Nice sunny day. Oh, my shadow. No good. But we can just have a quick look. Mary Baker. Died in 18... 1895, Jonathan, it's a nice new stone, it looks like he was 84, died in uh, March 24th, 1916, another Baker, Mary, 1899, aged, how old? Oh, I can't read it. Okay, and it's Mary Ann. So we got in memory of Marianne, in memory of Mary, daughter of Jonathan and Mary Baker, and I believe that's what it says there, Jonathan Baker. It's almost like a duplicate here. Died in okay, Marianne, daughter of Jonathan and Mary Baker, died in 1921, 59. And this is Jonathan here. Another Baker. Oh look at this! Look how new that is. So the whole family's here for like god how many generations do you think and this whole stone looks really pristine very nice nice and crisp another baker jesse baker died in uh, 1947 80 years so Phil smith died in 68 so it's a little newer and here somebody passed away it's uh, another baker Bertie. birdie birdie Daughter of Jesse and Sophia died in 1992. It's a nice stone, nice headstone. Again, 91. That would be Isaac, another baker. Isaac died in 64. Uh, oh, sorry, and Reza, wife of Isaac. Isaac's over there. 64. And there's Greenman, a lot of me. Greenmans and bakers. Died in 1992, died in 1993, 2000. These are newer. The older ones are closer to the, uh, I guess, the church. Just to show you the lot here, it ends kind of here. It doesn't look like there was much disturbance. In fact, this looks like the road that was here that came along. You probably came in along this way and then uh, parked and then brought the uh, body to where it was interned. We've got Winger here. I'll just like you see here. I'm going to just stop quickly. I'm looking for the older ones. But I'd like to at least give these guys uh, a chance to be remembered. Died 
1942 was a Sarah and Joseph winner. Joseph was 83. Elizabeth by 1938. Abraham died in 1916 at 63. Whoa, look at this one. Let's have a good look at this one here. It is I can't I can't make it out. Maybe through the camera, uh, if we put it on the TV there and play with the, the contrast and that. You know how you can screw around with the color. Uh, who is this? Jonathan Baker. Died in 1860, I think 68. There's another Jonathan, but I just can't make it out. I can read the Jonathan part. But isn't that strange how it just eroded on that one part? Erosion, eh? Very hard to read. I'm going to just maybe we can take a still shot for later. Snyder. There's another Snyder here. Kind of hard to make out. Oops, is that my shadow? Oh, it's a telephone pole shadow. There's another Snyder, 1842. It's not stone. Next row. I don't see anything weird going on here. Okay, it counts up to this. Who's that? Colby? 1889, November, November 1889. Who's that? Peter. What does that say? Sadie? Sadie? Peter? Um. 1876, okay, 79 years. I got this one being held up with uh, just pieces of metal on there on each side, I think. Yeah. Isaac Murray, 1874, aged 40 years. Catherine, let's go to this one. Bit of a space here. Overbide in 1862. Oh, infant daughter. They don't even. Could have been stillborn, you think? They don't even have a day of a birth. Got Thompson's here that was looks like uh, a little more recent. Here's an old one. Selena. George. Daughter? Does that say daughter? Of. George? Yeah, man, and then from there on, I can't read it. That's too bad. It's interesting. One of the few. So this must have been put here later. The Windass. John Windass and Annie. And Essie? Elsie, sorry. Christina, daughter of. 1900s, 1904, 1905 to 1909. Three, three years old. So there's a whole bunch of uh, flat stones on the ground here for the Winger family. Nineteen sixty-two. Another Winger family that passed in the 1990s and the 1960s. We can see a few more up here. There's a lot of uh, uh, memorials on the ground there. Here's the Remans again. Look at the. Oh, this is strange. Okay. Now, I'm looking at the back of headstones, and they're all facing the other way. They're facing this way. Whereas most of those were facing the street. We'll go on the other side and I'll show you. Yeah, that's what I thought. And these are new. Look at that. Two th They've been, uh, they're like maybe a few years old. 
the Riemanns. A lot of Riemanns here. There's another Riemann here. Hope you can read it. Riemann. Beautiful. That's nice. James is, uh, Robert, sorry. Robert's still, uh, alive. He's probably going to be interned here soon. Or, I hope not too soon. Witty. Mary Esther Baker. Died in 1941. So these are a little newer. Oh, look at this. Oh, check this out. I found another one. This must have been, uh, quite... An interesting, yeah, it's concrete there. You notice how it goes that way and then it continues on that way. Nice square, so there could have been a gate. Actually, you can kind of make it out between those two stones there in front. There's a, a nice square here, so this must be uh, could have been gated, fenced, or one of those uh, kind of setups for the family. It appears to end about right here. And there's something here. Oh, I bet there's a... Uh, this is how the leaves collect. In the depression. Well, that's what I thought. Ida P. Witty, 1982. But I don't like these. Look at that. It just... What does it take? It's going to disappear. How many others are here? How many other... Uh, I forget what you call those stones when they're on the ground like that. I'm at the back here, so let's go to the last row. This looks old. Henry Winger. And Nancy. And her infant son. Let's see that. It's just got a crack. Oh, look at this side. Well, there you go. You can see how this stuff's made. It's like kind of hollow, and they just did a nice little finish on the outside. Look at the veneer. A veneer of uh, concrete to make it look nice. Uh, there you go. There's the uh, Dufferin Water Reservoir. They play soccer and all that up on top and behind. Uh, over here. At the very back. Earl Jesse, son of Rosen, is over here. D two months old. Winger. There's another old one here. Levi. Is that a... Oh, if I can get it to come on. You know what? Some of it's even chipped out over here. B-A... I'm going to say Baker. But I can't see that last letter. Baker. Uh, died in 1853. I'm trying to make it out. Oh, born. 1853 died. I'm going to say December 6, 1912. And then it's a mini? Mini? G? Wife. And uh, born in 54. What's that? Died January 5th, 1902. 1902, 1912. Oh, look at this. There's a chunk missing here. Piece missing. And that's it. Let me just line up here and see if there's anything else that I might be missing. But look at the colors of the leaves, eh? They're all falling down here behind. Very nice colors. But let's keep going. I don't see anything else here. Who knows? I mean, it's... Who knows what? In the corner here. Let's go for a walk in the corner. Right where the brush is. And you know what? It's just soil. That's just soil. And, uh, yeah, so... Whew! Got to try and get out. There's the fence. Right here. And these trees that exist. Oh, my God. Getting out of the bush there. The branch is messed up in my hairdo. <laughs> And um, here you go, old pioneer fencing. The technique that they used back in the day. Uh, they didn't have wire, you can see a little bit. Maybe this is original. But there's that old fencing. It continues up there and it breaks apart, it looks like. But there you go, this has uh, gotta be, uh... oh, and check this out, that stone right here. I wonder if that's a marker, because it just seems to be put up. Yeah, it's in there. I wonder if that was a mark for the property back in the day that how they did it. 
Well, anyway, guys, I just did a little run here. Kind of neat. Kind of see. Just to show you again, the church is over here. I'm at the back. And this is uh, a little cemetery walk I thought you'd like. Boy, it's nice today. I mean, I'm under the tree. Just looking at the colors one more time. I mean, this is all going to disappear very soon. As you can see by the leaves on the ground all around me here. But, uh... That's kind of cool, eh? Let's go take a look here. Remember, folks, just to give you an idea and perspective. Oh, there's a dip there. I just about fell in a hole. But it's this one here, the Riemann family. I'm gonna check this out. We'll talk to you later, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, a little walk here, nice day. We'll see you again soon. Give me a like, give me a hate, give me a spank, give me a thumb, give me the baby pinky or the big toe. <laughs> However, I appreciate it, guys. It keeps me going. I hope you like these little uh, uh, historical things. I just like to kind of makes me feel good to be able to come here and. Uh, and give all these uh, pioneers that had a lot to do with building our country. I mean, you gotta give them credit. They really didn't. Yeah, they did. I mean, we got cell phones, TV. I mean, what do you do when you have nothing to do? These guys must have had a hell of a time killing time. Yeah, you were a handyman, that's for sure. You did your knitting, you did all these handy, uh, hands on uh, crafts and laboring, doing things to you know, get yourself ahead, but boy, in the off times, what do you do? Yeah, I can just run to the TV, we can go and hit the cell phone, smartphone, oh, Playstations and Xboxes and PCs and uh, get around, we get bored, we want to go eat, we jump in one of those things that are going by and uh, head to a restaurant if uh, they're open. Lucky we are. Luckily, Vaughan isn't as crazy as uh, Toronto, where they've done a lot of uh, lockdowns here. I'm just on the border. I'm just looking on the outside here. Sometimes you find interesting things. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'll talk to you guys later. The car's right there calling my name. It says, let's go check out and see where the Riemanns are on Carver. I think I'm going to do that. I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed the show. Bye.